Judy E. and I wanted to talk to you about your lymphatic system. Have you ever heard of it? Most people have not. You know we have a kidney doctor, a heart doctor, an eye doctor. We have a doctor for everything, but there is no doctor for the lymphatic system. I wonder why that is. Does anyone know? I don't know. Uh, but it doesn't matter because we don't need a medical doctor. The lymphatic system is like the garbage can of your body. So when it's clogged, it's similar to as if you were constipated. But instead of being generalized in the intestines, the lymph runs all throughout the whole body. There's a ton, you know there's two lymph nodes here and most people know there's a couple here. They go, oh, my lymph is swollen. But did you know you have thousands and thousands of lymph nodules all through the arms? They run down the body, they branch into the legs and you have a spleen and a thymus, which are both glands, but they're part of the lymphatic system. And why are we talking about this? because the lymphatic system does not have its own pump. It needs to get pumped regularly in order to clean out. Think about the heart. Blood leaves your feet and goes all the way back up your body to the heart to get recirculated. There's a pump. The lymphatic system does not, and so the lymphatic system easily gets clogged. And a lot of times people are worried about like, oh, they're like teach your arm or the back of their thighs. And sometimes just flushing out the lymph is all you need to do. Um, sometimes the cellulite is also related to toxins, but the toxins can just be storing in the lymph. So a few things that you can do to flush out your lymph. One of them that's pretty easy is when you're in the shower, turn the water to freezing cold. Maybe it's not that easy for you, but in the summer, turn it to super cold and then turn it to hot and then turn it to cold and then hot. The action of the back and forth actually pumps up the lymph a little bit. Two exercises that I love for the lymphatic system one is if you stick your thumbs out and curl the rest of your fingers in and bring them out in a V and you do breath of fire. Breath of fire is like panting like a dog. You can do it with your tongue out. I'm sure this will look enjoyable for you to watch. <laughs> and then you just close your mouth and do it through your nose. You do that for about two minutes and that really pumps up the lymphatic system. The second exercise that I love is if you put your hands on your shoulders with your thumbs in the back and you do twists. So you're gonna twist and twist and twist and twist. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And that is also gonna ring out the lymph. I just showed you how many lymph nodes there are in this section of the body. Both of those exercises are frequently done in kundalini yoga classes. In fact, almost every kundalini class I've ever taken, they say, today we're gonna work on the lymph. So if you think you're having lymph issues and you don't wanna go get a $100 lymph massage, go to a Kundalini yoga class. It will actually help you in so many other ways. I also recommend if you have one of those giant exercise balls or the gym does, just sit on it and little baby bounces for about two minutes and then just be still for a moment. And that also flushes out the lymphatic system. Swiping will also help. You know that I'm a big fan of tapping. You can tap in your lymph especially the armpits, you can tap in the lymph in the groins, and then you swipe all the way down the arms or all the way down the legs. Make sure you get the top and the bottom of the foot to really flush out the lymph. But some people are using dry brushing. Dry brushing is fantastic. You brush into the lymph, but if your lymph is clogged and you keep piling more into the lymph, you're gonna end up with insults on top of injury. So first open up the lymphatic channels and then you can start to use dry brushing. We also have supplements. We have something called Lymph Tone. I use it all the time with children and adults. Also allicidin, one of our main products to open up the lymphatic system. So there's no excuse now that you watch this video, you can't unknow how important the lymphatic system is. It is at the very end of the assembly line liver, gallbladder, kidneys, intestines, and lymph. So if the lymph is clogged, you are gonna back up the entire assembly line. And for all of you that are continuously doing detox program after detox program, you're focusing on the liver and you're dumping more and more junk into your lymph. So I really recommend that you take some time to just focus on your lymph and then see what happens as that assembly line opens, your body may just feel that much better. Of course, using the Medi Soak and the Medi Bath to soak your hands and your wrists, your ankles and your feet, will also help flush out the lymph. So you have so many options, there's no excuse. I believe that every single person on this planet needs to flush their lymph at least twice a week doing one of the remedies we just discussed. 
flush your lymph to open your assembly line and have a healthy body and you will definitely have a healthy day.